Have you ever wondered if you can convert your cash into Bitcoin? Bitcoin, the digital currency that has taken the financial world by storm, might be the answer you're looking for. It was created in 2009 by an unknown person using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Over the years, it has gained significant popularity and credibility, with an increasing number of people turning their hard-earned cash into this digital asset. Bitcoin operates on a technology called blockchain, which is a public ledger containing all transaction data from anyone who uses Bitcoin. Transactions are added to blocks, or the links of code that make up the chain, and each transaction must be recorded on a block. This technology makes Bitcoin transparent, secure, and decentralized. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, an investor, or just curious about the buzz, it's clear that Bitcoin has become a significant part of our financial landscape, so let's dive straight into how you can convert your cash into this digital gold. But before we go any further, you might be wondering why should I convert my cash into Bitcoin? A valid question indeed. First off, Bitcoin offers the potential for high returns. It's like a roller coaster ride. Sure, the ups and downs can be a bit stomach-churning, but the possibility of seeing your investment skyrocket is a thrill that many find irresistible. Next up, Bitcoin's worldwide acceptance. More and more businesses, big and small, are beginning to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. Whether you're booking a hotel in Bali or buying a latte in London, Bitcoin's got you covered. Lastly, Bitcoin's role as a hedge against inflation. With central banks around the world printing money like there's no tomorrow, many see Bitcoin as digital gold, a safe haven in stormy economic seas. With these benefits in mind, let's move on to how you can make this conversion. The first step in converting your cash to Bitcoin is setting up a Bitcoin wallet. A Bitcoin wallet is much like a digital version of your physical wallet or bank account. It's a secure place where you store, manage, and control your Bitcoin. But instead of holding physical coins or notes, a Bitcoin wallet holds digital codes called private keys. These keys are what you use to access your Bitcoins and make transactions. Now there are different types of Bitcoin wallets you can choose from. First we have software wallets. These are apps or programs that you can install on your computer or smartphone. They're convenient and easy to use, making them perfect for beginners. Examples of software wallets include Electrum and Mycelium. Next we have hardware wallets. These are physical devices, much like USB drives that store your private keys offline. Because they're not connected to the internet, they're less susceptible to hacks and cyber attacks, making them a secure option for storing large amounts of Bitcoin. Some popular hardware wallets are Trezor and Ledger. Finally, we have online wallets. These are web-based services that store your Bitcoin on the cloud. They're accessible from any device with an internet connection, providing flexibility and convenience. However, since they're continually connected to the internet, they can be a bit more vulnerable to security threats. Setting up a Bitcoin wallet is relatively straightforward. If you're using a software or online wallet, you generally just need to download the app or visit the website, create an account, and follow the instructions to set up your wallet. For a hardware wallet, you'll need to purchase the device, connect it to your computer, and follow the manufacturer's instructions to set it up. Remember, the security of your wallet is paramount. Always use strong, unique passwords and consider enabling additional security measures such as two-factor authentication. Now that you have your wallet set up, you're one step closer to owning Bitcoin. The next step is to buy Bitcoin from an exchange. You might be wondering what exactly is a cryptocurrency exchange? Well, think of it as a digital marketplace. It's a platform where you can trade your cash for Bitcoin, much like a foreign currency exchange at an airport. But with a cryptocurrency exchange, Everything is done online. There are several cryptocurrency exchanges to choose from, each with its own unique features. Some exchanges are designed for advanced traders, offering complex trading options and detailed analytics, while others are more user-friendly, catering to beginners looking to dip their toes into the world of cryptocurrency. So, how does buying Bitcoin on an exchange work? Here's a simplified breakdown. First, you'll need to create an account on the exchange of your choice. This generally involves providing some personal information and setting up a secure password. Once your account is set up, you'll need to deposit your cash into the exchange. This can usually be done via a bank transfer, credit card, or even a wire transfer depending on the exchange. Once your funds are in your account, you're ready to buy Bitcoin. To do this, you'll navigate to the Buy Sell section of the exchange. Here you'll select Bitcoin from the list of cryptocurrencies, enter the amount you wish to purchase, and click Buy. The exchange will then process your transaction, and voila, 
you now own Bitcoin. However, the world of cryptocurrency exchanges is not without its risks. It's crucial to do your due diligence when selecting an exchange. Look at factors such as security measures, transaction fees, customer service, and user reviews. Remember, this is your hard-earned cash we're talking about, so it's worth taking the time to find a reputable exchange. With Bitcoin purchased and in your wallet, you've successfully converted your cash to Bitcoin, but what next? Now that you have Bitcoin, it's important to know how to manage and use it. Managing Bitcoin is primarily about understanding your wallet. Your Bitcoin wallet is just like a physical wallet, but instead of paper bills, it contains digital Bitcoins. Managing your wallet is straightforward. You can send Bitcoin by entering the recipient's address, the amount, and then hitting send. To receive Bitcoin, simply share your wallet address with the sender. Now here's a pro tip. Always double check the address before clicking send. Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. Once sent, they cannot be retrieved. So you want to ensure you're sending to the correct address. Using Bitcoin is becoming more and more convenient as businesses worldwide are starting to accept it. You can use Bitcoin for online purchases just like you would with a credit card. Simply select Bitcoin as your payment method at checkout, scan the QR code with your Bitcoin wallet app, and hit send. In physical stores it works pretty much the same way. Look for stores that accept Bitcoin, scan their QR code at the point of sale, enter the amount, and click send. It's that simple. However, the most important part of managing and using Bitcoin is security. Unlike a credit card, if you lose access to your Bitcoin wallet, it's gone forever. There's no bank to call, no fraud department to help you out. So, it's crucial to keep your wallet and its key safe. Never share your private key with anyone. Regularly update your wallet software and always use a trusted, secure network for your transactions. Remember, the world of Bitcoin is exciting and full of opportunities, but it also comes with its set of responsibilities. Be smart, be safe, and you'll navigate it like a pro. As you can see, managing and using Bitcoin is a breeze once you get the hang of it. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started with a basic understanding of Bitcoin, a digital currency that operates on a decentralized network. The allure of Bitcoin lies in its potential for growth and the freedom it offers from traditional banking systems, but how does one make the transition from cash to Bitcoin? First off, we explored the necessity of setting up a Bitcoin wallet. This digital wallet is your personal gateway to the world of cryptocurrency. It's where you'll store, send and receive Bitcoins. There are several options available, each with their own pros and cons, but the most important factor is security. You want to ensure your wallet is safe and secure from potential threats. Once you have your wallet set up, the next step is purchasing Bitcoin. We delved into the process of buying Bitcoin from an exchange. This is where your cash comes into play. You can use traditional money to purchase Bitcoin on these platforms. Remember, it's crucial to choose a reputable exchange platform. The world of cryptocurrency is still somewhat unregulated and you want to avoid falling into a scam. After acquiring Bitcoin, we discussed managing and using it. Bitcoin, like any other asset, needs to be managed wisely. It's not just about buying low and selling high. You should also consider how you can use Bitcoin in your daily life. More and more businesses are starting to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment, making it a practical asset to hold. In conclusion, converting cash to Bitcoin involves setting up a secure wallet, buying from a trustworthy exchange, and managing your investment wisely. The benefits of Bitcoin are numerous. It's a currency that offers freedom from traditional banking, potential for growth, and increasing practicality in everyday transactions. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming a Bitcoin owner. Remember, the world of cryptocurrency is exciting and full of potential, but always do your research and invest wisely.